let's make these pull-up loafers shoemakers. But first of all, I sent for a party for my old cotton mat. Hold on, hold on guys. My subject here is not to explain to you guys how to use paper instead of tape. So I'm going to pause this here and basically show you the end result. Basically all you try to do is to make socks out of paper and wear it on your last. That's basically it. However you achieve that is up to you and that's basically what I did. So the same concepts applicable to any other type of shoe design applies here. We have our center line marking our insteps, balls, um, counterpoint and back height, all of those. And then use the same last length proportions that we are already used to. If you're not used to these last these um, things that I'm talking about, um, I'll post a link to a playlist that should explain much of what I've been saying. But let me give you a quick revision. The last length of this last is 23 cm and if you divide that last length, that 23 by 4, it will give you the measurement of the instep which is measured from the van point on the center line in front towards the top. Then if you divide the last length by 5, it will give you the measurement of the counterpoint which is measured from the base of the center line at the back upward. Of course, if you add 1 cm to that counterpoint, you'd have your back height from where you can draw your quarter line to meet the point where the vamp line that rolls from the inside ball to the outside ball. So your quarter line will meet that vamp line in the middle. Then if you draw a line from your instep to the middle of your quarter line, you would have... Um, your first top line the first half of your top line which you can mark in one eighth of your last length on to get the point from where you can carve the rest of the top line of your shoe of course the back part of your top line will run from the back height to where the quarter line starts but terminates where it intersects with your uh, top line the front part of your top line so that's a basic rundown of these cardinal points which i said like i said i have um, taught in several videos that you should definitely definitely check out but this is the design that i came up with i found that i made a mistake around the facing which of course i corrected uh, but i did that after flattening the entire thing on a flat surface so i'll show you the correction that i made and then we move on to the rest of what we have to do
Now, I think it's important for me to explain to you what's going on in that dashed line area. It is not as much part of the thong of the apron as it is um, just a flap because of the uniqueness of the design um, that I intend to do. So, um, rather than just make it part of the apron, you'll notice that at the time we are um, building the pattern of the apron itself, we actually unfolded it in a butterfly kind of way so that um, the apron of these loafers can fold onto itself and therein lies the uniqueness of the design of the shoe that we are working on. Now pay close attention to how I spring the apron. Um, not many people have asked me for any much questions about how I spring the aprons of these loafers. So I'm guessing that it is very well understood by everyone. But if you have a question, of course, shoot. And I'll be glad to um, point out explanations where they are required. Now I'll just go ahead and add that butterfly flap like I mentioned to you earlier on. So I'll simply just unfold um, that triangle around there and add it to what I have right here.
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. When I'm done with this, I'll simply just put eyelets, lace holes in these areas and the shoe will be done. Of course, I'll have to last and finish off all other parts. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for standing by. God bless you.